It all started with my sister because my, I mean, my dad is, is a chef. My mom never, they both never did any type of athletics. As a little kid, I used to watch her play, go to all her games, and that's kind of how I fell in love with the game. And I started playing at a pretty young age. I'm actually, for example, I'm right-handed with everything I do, and my sister's a lefty. So I used to go to her games and watch her play, and I would watch her shoot with her left hand. And then during the timeouts, I would just start shooting with my left hand because I figured that's how I was supposed to shoot. So that's how I became a left-handed player. It's very, very difficult for people in Holland to get to really good schools because they don't look for players in Holland. So uh, when I was 16, I actually moved to Spain, to the Canary Islands, to join a basketball academy there that is known to deliver European players to colleges. It's one of the toughest places to play and, and work out at. We practice like four or five times a day, uh, 6 a.m. every morning. Looking back at it, it was pretty crazy. And I have a lot of respect for my parents too, just to put me on an airplane and go over to a remote island and just get you know, worked out so hard. lot about myself there and I, I really really worked hard and I worked my way up to being the captain of the U18 uh, team and actually played in the national championship tournament there and uh, that's how coach Miller found out about me. When he was at uh, the Canaries Basketball Academy um, over in the Canary Islands in Spain and we knew the program director there and, and knew the team. I played in this tournament here in America in a prep school tournament. He saw me play and then they actually came to Spain to uh, watch me play. Jordy's ability to do the little things really stood out to us when we were evaluating. He saw this guy who was just running, sprinting hard every position, hitting people on defense, setting great screens, you know, being the team first guy. And uh, he offered me a scholarship. So kind of, we, we had a little sit down and the connection I had with Coach Miller is one that you know, was instant. And we, we really have the same vision of basketball in the game, we lose the game in a similar way. When I come in as a freshman, it was like the first big class that he had. I want to say we're the ones that have to instill this on the next future generations of players to come. You know, it's not something that you can just flip on. It's something that you got to work on every single day and you got to keep yourself accountable and others accountable too. And you can literally, if I trace it back every year, we slowly got a little better to where we wanted to be, a little closer to where we wanted to be. So it's just a matter of sticking to it and bringing it every day. Came here, I didn't know anybody. I didn't have any friends, no family here. So Greensboro over the last five years has, has truly embraced me and it's been absolutely amazing. All the support I've been getting from whether it's teammates, coaches, uh, fans, um, even people that work at the Coliseum, school, teachers, it's all has been great. Um, it really is truly feel like a home away from home. So try to give as much back to the community that's given me so much because it's really amazing what you know America and then obviously North Carolina has here too. I, shoot some hoops and I get everything paid for, housing, school, it's incredible. So the least I can do is try to put everything, all my time and effort into giving back to the community that's given me so much. I remember meeting him at an awards banquet probably four years ago. Since day one, they've been super, super you know, huge fans of the team and they were around for the days that we weren't as good and for them to stick around and be there every year, uh, you know, we've gotten really close. I love his passion for the game and I love his enthusiasm. I love how he treats his fellow players. I love everything about him. He's just, he's great with kids. He's great with adults. He's great with everybody. One of the difficulties about being fans is the fact you can't really get close to the players. It's just not, not allowed to do that. But uh, every time we see him out there playing, he's, he always gives us a wave, comes over and say, says hello to us. And we always appreciate that. And we had a great, uh, great fundraiser for him. A couple of years ago at an awards banquet, I mentioned something about doing a fundraiser for Alzheimer's and he said, well, maybe you could do one for juvenile diabetes. And I didn't say a whole lot about whether I would or not. And then it took me a good year to even think, this is gonna be a great year to do it. It's his last year here. They organized a fundraiser in my honor, which was incredible when I found out about it. I actually sent out invitations to loads of people and decided I would just go ahead and make a dinner. I put on the invitation, no donation is too small or too large. 
and uh, wound up having 60 people here and uh, raised over $4,000 for juvenile diabetes. That just shows that you know, there, there's a wonderful people out here that really want to help and that, that was huge to have you know, them help out. They have a great network of people, lovely people, and I, I was you know, flabbergasted by that. It was such a, such a nice gesture, so sweet. I think Jordy's really represented what our program's about, and that's kind of growth one day at a time. You know, I think from the day he walked on campus to the, the player he is today, it's just a, an unbelievable transformation physically with his skill set, and then off the floor as well. Uh, so it's been really neat for our program to grow along with Jordy individually and as a player. He's so passionate about, even about his diabetes, that it's a blessing and not a curse for him. He's just, he just sees the positive in everything. Just think the man he is. I mean, he is a, a sweet, nice guy. He'll probably do anything for anybody. All the love you, you give, and then you're gonna give it back at some point. And you know, that's why people love him, because you know, it's just such a great dude that you, know, you cannot really avoid giving love back to him, because it's just the way it is. So. It's been an awesome five years for me, and I've tried to give every single thing that I had in my body to, to this program, to this community, and hopefully I've touched some people, hopefully I've inspired some people. If I haven't, that's great too. I don't care either way, I had a blast. And hopefully do remember to somebody that truly cared about UNCG as a school, as a basketball program, as a Greensboro, as a community, I guess. Yeah.